Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Jgod. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what is the best sniper rifle within Warzone. And I think there's a lot of debate between the AX50 and the HDR, but I also see a lot of PC players specifically using the CAR 98K. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what is the difference and why would anyone use a CAR 98K, which is a marksman rifle, over one of the other sniper rifles. So we're gonna cover a lot of little different details in today's video and explain why you would choose one over the other. If you do find the video helpful in any way, please let me know by hitting that like button. I do have a goal in today's video of a thousand likes. And if you're brand new to the channel or you just haven't yet subscribed and you're looking to find your way back, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on to make that as easy as possible. So in addition to talking about how the weapons compare, we're gonna also give you a best class setup for each of them that you can go ahead and kind of change up to fit your individual play style, but we'll get into that as we go through the different weapons. So the first weapon we're gonna talk about is the CAR 98K, and one of the nice things about Warzone is there's actually a little bit of a different headshot multiplier for certain weapons. When it came to the CAR 98K, I couldn't find a scenario where I know I hit a headshot and the player didn't down. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of bullet drop, but I didn't really feel like I had to lead my shots a ton. But one of the things that's a shining star for the CAR 98K is its overall ADS time. If you're comparing this with the snipers that we're going to talk about, it's about half the aim down sight time, which can come incredibly clutch, especially when you're trying to kind of get that first shot on. In addition to that, it also has a slightly faster fire rate at 54 rounds per minute. And when you convert that to time, it ends up taking 1.1 seconds per shot fired. It's gonna be a huge advantage compared to the AX50 and the HDR. Main reason I think that a lot of people aren't choosing this one is because it's a higher skill gap weapon. If you do not manage to hit the head, it's gonna take more than a couple shots to down a player. From my experience, typically at least three and sometimes four, depending on the individual range. Whereas if you manage to land a headshot, if you were skilled enough to pull that shot off, you were able to down the player instantly. So although not the best sniper rifle in my opinion, I think it is a good one to kind of mix it up and challenge yourself because it does have a much higher skill ceiling because it requires you to land those headshots. So we'll give you a class setup in case you want to try that out. I like to run it with the monolithic suppressor, the Singard Customs 27.6 inch barrel. And the primary reason for this is because you're going to get that additional range and bullet velocity, which is incredibly important with Warzone, so you don't have to lead your shots nearly as much. I also like the TAC laser, helps out a little bit with the steadiness, which is the idle sway, and then also allows you to aim down sight that much quicker, which is definitely going to be an advantage compared to the sniper rifles. I also put on the sniper scope because since you're trying to be as accurate as possible, you're trying to treat this like a sniper rifle. You're not trying to quick scope with it. You definitely want to go with the sniper scope. I know some people like to go with the thermal, but that is complete preference. Then I have the FTAC Sport Comb, which allows with additional aim down sight time, which if you don't really want to worry about, maybe you get rid of that one and you can actually put on the focus perk, which will give you additional flinch resistance, which can definitely help when you get into those engagements where maybe you're going to take a little bit of damage, but you still want to make sure you can actually hit that shot. Now we'll go ahead and talk about the AX50, which has a rate of fire of 48 rounds per minute. And what this ends up leading to is a one and a quarter second time between your shots, which ends up being just slightly slower than the CAR 98K. Its base aim down sight time is 617 milliseconds, which is a little less than double the CAR 98K. So you can see there is a little bit of a difference there. So when, with my experience with the AX50, I felt like there's different pros and cons depending on how you want to utilize it. I think if you want to go in and take someone down and have a follow-up shot, or maybe you get a hit marker and you want to try and get a follow-up shot to down that player, I think the AX50 is definitely the way to go because it has a little bit faster fire rate than the HDR, which we're going to see. But at the trade-off, it requires a little bit more skill because it has slower bullet velocity and a little bit less range, which the range doesn't end up all being that important because at the end of the day, you're not really going to down a player unless you hit them in the head or if they're low health. So all we're really trying to do is figure out how we can get the most amount of headshots as possible. When it comes to the AX50, you're gonna have to lead your shot in some way, whether it's just putting the sights just slightly above their head or leading the shot just a little bit more than you would with the HDR. So I highly recommend doing what I did, and that was just jumping into a plunder match and landing on top of roofs and just trying to snipe people on different angles. Maybe land on the ground where you know people are on a roof and maybe you try to hit that range. Maybe you try another, angle and you just get the feel for what the distance is and you can actually utilize the distance within game what i highly recommend doing is use the ping system and see what it looks like to hit a target at 100 meters 
150 meters, 200 meters, and get comfortable with some of the common ranges where you're probably gonna be sniping people. And I think most of the engagements you're gonna get in with the sniper are between 100 meters all the way up to about 250 meters. And pretty much anything beyond that is a little bit more of an extreme situation. Doesn't mean you shouldn't practice that, but I would invest most of my time practicing the shots you're gonna come up with most often. And that was really the issue that I ran into with this weapon is initially I just jumped into a match and sometimes it felt like nice, crisp, and the, the shots connected and I was able to leave the shots perfectly, but then other times it didn't really feel like it. What it's really gonna come down to is how comfortable you can get with understanding those different variables, because at the end of the day, as we'll see with the HDR, it's just significantly easier. So that ends up being the, my experience with the AX-50. I think it's a good sniper rifle, especially in multiplayer, but when it comes to Warzone, it really comes down to having a little bit more practice because you want to be able to maximize those follow-up shots. You want to be able to hit those targets. You want to get really comfortable with leading those bullets. So as far as the AX-50 goes, the best class setup I like to use for the AX-50 is the monolithic suppressor, the 32-inch factory barrel, the TAC laser, the Singard Arms Assassin stock, and then I like to use Focus. If you want to get rid of Focus and maybe carry a little bit of extra ammo, more power to you, it really depends on how many shots you're going to be able to take and how aggressive you're going to be with it because a lot of times you're already kind of a position of cover, so you can just get back into cover and you might not necessarily need that additional ammo. Another thing you could do is if you wanted to worry about having a little bit more mobility while also having to take care of your ammo situation, you can always go with sleight of hand or do what a lot of people do and go with the thermal optic. Now we'll go ahead and talk about the HDR and I think what separates the HDRs, which I've already kind of alluded to, is it's just easier to use. I could put the HDR in 10 people's hands, have them line up a shot, probably nine out of 10 are gonna hit that shot just because where you aim, it, the bullet actually goes. It almost feels like hit scan, like I mentioned. Whereas, like I said, with the AX-50, there is gonna be a little bit of leading shots, aiming a little bit above their head so that the bullets actually connect. And that really comes down to that bullet velocity that the HDR is just superior to the AX-50 and even the CAR-98. And one of the things that actually is a little bit of a drawback is that rate of fire. It actually has the slowest rate of fire out of all three of these at 42 rounds per minute. And if you break that down to time per shot, it ends up being 1.44 seconds per shot. And if you compare that with the AX-50, it ends up being almost a quarter second slower, which could definitely be the difference between winning or losing an engagement. So overall, my experience, I just think the HDR is a little bit easier to use. If I just was gonna stick with one, play a little bit more casually, have a good primary, I'd probably just run with the HDR just because it's that much easier. That's just my opinion. So let's go ahead and give you the class setup for the HDR. My personal preference for the HDR is the monolithic suppressor, the 26.9 inch HDR barrel, the TAC laser, the FTAC stalker scout, and the focus perk. Same reasons that I've talked about earlier. If you wanna go ahead and switch up to the thermal optic, you could always get rid of focus or go ahead and switch that out for sleight of hand and you kind of have those individual options so you can still aim down sight be competitive so that you're not hard scoping most of the time and getting punished by actually aiming down sight you're going to be able to acquire the target lock on fire the shot down a player get that pick and allow your team to rush that individual player i'd love to know your guys's thoughts down in the comments section below which do you prefer have you actually tried all of these and kind of seen how they felt and what are your overall opinions of what is worst and what is best? If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're brand new, looking to find your way back for whatever reason, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.